Yeah. 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 I feel good. Um, just, you know, it's fun to win. You know, it's just a great feeling um, when you just, you know, when you go win a game like that. Uh, so just really proud of these guys and, um, you know, definitely a fun locker room. You know, having your first win as a team, you know, it's a new team. So um, having your first win as a team, you know, it was always super fun. So it was, it was, it was awesome. Can you take us through that first touchdown the West go? It seemed like the safety was trying to roll to the middle. She got yeah. a sense that he wasn't going to be able to get there with West going on. <clears throat> yeah, it was, it was a pretty unique coverage. Um, what they did was they pretty much clouded it, and then their, their nickel Sam actually to the field ended up trying to come all the way back to play the middle safety. Um, and I kind of saw pre-snap that they were trying to get to a three-high structure, so I just tried to keep him to the field as long as I can. Um, and then just, you know, Bryant read it great and, you know, took a high angle and it's perfect. Do you have an idea going into the game that that might be the look you get? Uh, no, we actually hadn't seen that look before. Uh, they had never given it, but you know, I think just you know, our coaches do a great job of, you know, preparing us all week for whatever can happen. And, um, you know, our defense also does a great job. You know, that's just, you know, that's kind of kudos to, you know, our, our coaches and our defense for preparing me to see a, a random look like that. You know, at the end of the day, you can prepare all, prepare all you want, but you got to go react. Um, so, you know, to kind of kind of feel that and, and sense that was was pretty cool. How do you feel to open this offense up, throw downfield, throw across the middle, things that we've heard about, and then see it in game two and, and see it work like it did? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's electric. Um, <clears throat> It's uh, it's you know, it's, it's what we've been doing all fall camp, and obviously just got to go do that now, and uh, it was just you know, it was, it was really fun. It's fun to kind of let that ball fly, and um, you know, we've got we've got a lot of dudes that can go do it. So you know, we've, we've got the front, we've got the front to go protect, and uh, but you know, what's what's the biggest challenge is when we can you know air it out like that and still have a a running back that can average you know ten yards of carry like you did tonight. So that's you know that's what's really exciting. How much did you guys need a performance like this coming off that Georgia game? Um, you know, we never flinched uh, the whole week. Um, you know, we came back hungry, and this team's been through a lot last year. And, you know, we've, we've learned how to respond to that. Um, so, you know, it's, it was, a, it was a, a perfect way to respond. You know, last week was a tale of two halves. This showed us a tale of two weeks. I mean, just talk about, you kind of mentioned it just now, the, the quick turnaround, a really good, talented App State squad, the running yeah. back, had a good game, yeah. defense just showed a lot of packages, and just how'd y'all just keep together as the game went on? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> App State is, you know, they're a really good football team. And, um, you know, you bring a team like that in here, uh, it's it's not an easy win. So um, to go play like we did tonight, just really proud of our guys. And, you know, just kind of let loose and what played, and uh, it was great. But, you know, just to, to play four halves was really the best part. Uh, to play full four halves, I'm sorry, four quarters, I'm sorry, four quarters, it was just it was awesome, you know, from the first play to the last one. So, truly really proud of, you know, how, <clears throat> you know, really proud of CV. Um, you know, just really encouraged him, hey, it doesn't matter who's in there, uh, we got a job to do. And, you know, he, he went and hauled out, and, you know, I think it's like seven for 11. Obviously, a great rushing touchdown. And, um, used his legs really well, but, you know, it was great with his reads. And, um, you know, you never forget your first touchdown in Death Valley, so really excited for him. I was, I was really and then Got to see old Paul T in there at the end. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. How about the uh, just the performance of the O line giving you time to pocket those deep throws to Wesco and Moore? Just, yeah, it just couldn't go any any better. Yeah, I mean it's you know back to back great weeks from them, and I'm just really proud of them. And, um, you know, Coach Luke does an amazing job getting them ready every week, but that group is just so tight. And, you know, I've got a great relationship with all of them, and just really proud of them. Really proud of them. They, they've been working their tail off. What do you think allowed this offense to have the explosive big play after big play? Uh, all 11 guys doing their job that's that's what is great about the game of football um, you know you can't have one or two guys or or even nine or ten guys doing their job you have to have all 11 guys doing their job every single play in order to be great and lastly last week we didn't have that you know it was maybe one or two guys that Weren't, weren't quite doing their job or weren't quite doing it the best that they can. And, you know, I was I was one of those, you know, 
I, I might have been the one, you know, last week. And uh, but that's what's uh, that's why it's the greatest team sport on earth is you truly need all of the guys in perfect sync. And tonight we just we were all in perfect sync. And, uh, it was awesome. Okay, uh, Brady had a great <laughs> one-handed catch last week in Atlanta. How about the game he had tonight? 100 yards, two scores. Yeah. Um, I didn't even know it was a one-hander until I went back and watched it on Sunday, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, just, you know, Brittany, he can, he can do so much. And, um, just really proud of him. Just, you know, he, he played great tonight. And, uh, you know, have a tight end, have a 100-yard game, that's, you know, it's a big deal. Uh, I, I kind of said it earlier, um, I know in front of you all, but I thought the, big, the best part of tonight was how we got to spread the ball around. Um, you know, you have Bryant. Tyler just tweaked it early, uh, but you know Troy got in there a little bit, uh, and then you know T.J. Moore, Antonio Williams, Brian, or sorry, or, uh, Jake, and then uh, <coughs> Cole. Cole, incredible game, and then you know Josh had one big down the sideline, and then, but just to just to be able to spread the ball around like that, it's great, it's 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 awesome um, because. You know, defense can can't just they can't just double team Antonio. You know, if you're looking at last week, right? Um, so we've just got it. We've got guys all over that can really do it and um, are are locked in on, on what we want. So you said winning is fun, but this was not just to win a record-setting offensive performance. Do you think this sent a message about your offense? Uh, I think it sent a message to our own team. I think more than anything, it just built us up with confidence, and um, I think we all. We all thought we could go do it, and to actually go do it is just, it's awesome. It's awesome. So to really put those, that hard work and that, uh, that practice confidence into real life and the game confidence is, is awesome. Do you think you've ever had a half that good of like 378 yards and 24, 20? Uh, no, I don't think I have. That was, I, I got to the half, and Coach Sweeney said that at halftime, and I don't, I don't know if, I'm just so locked in, but I thought only, I only, I thought only had like four or five touchdowns. Because I'm not looking up the scoreboard. I mean, I'm just focused on the next play. I'm not looking at yards or anything. Um, I didn't realize my percentage either. I didn't realize it. But that's just how it is. Like, you're just so locked in in the game. And, um, that's just not me then. Like, that's, that's not, sorry, that's not just because of me. I mean, no sacks, no pressures. Um, like guys making tough catches, running great routes, you know, Phil, Phil making the, you know, the, the backers have to close in the box to create more opportunities. Like that's all of the guys working in sync. Um, and I think that that's, that, that's what can happen when, when our offense is really rolling. Like what was it, CCB coming to the game to the offense the way that? Yeah, just, you know, really proud of him for the way he's just, he's just grown um, since he got here, you know, last year. And, um, I mean, he's just, he's gotten better every single kind of, kind of semester. And, uh, so just really proud of the way that he's, he's really grown and uh, he really got to go show it tonight. Just really happy for him. It was awesome. Was there any major differences in game plan tonight or was it maybe more execution that allowed you? Uh, definitely execution. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that it's really much difference. Uh, I thought we matched up really well against both teams we played and uh, we've loved our game plan for both teams. But yeah, just execution. Did you try to come out and, you know, did you have some focus on wanting to spread the ball around a little bit more? Or is that just kind of how the game played out? Just kind of how the game played out. Played out. Yeah, just kind of how it is. I know you talked before the air. Brian Wesco was a guy that maybe people were talking about being the pet guy. Was it, you know, just the speed, just kind of how he can go vertical. What was it about him that made you pick him up? Um, I mean, I can't really think of anything that he's bad at. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's just, just tonight. You got to see his vertical speed. But he's he can really do it all. So. Um, Right, what's going on? Can you always sit here so even keeled? Yeah. Was, this, was this extra fun? Did it feel different? Yeah, did you I mean, let yourself enjoy it? Yeah, I, I did. I did. I mean, it was, it was really fun. You know, you kind of you kind of finish a game like that. <coughs> just it's fun to kind of just whoop up on somebody again. You know, it's, it's fun. You know, it's just, just go dominate. You know, put, put all the hard work you've been working for all freaking year. Um, and just go unleash. Like, that was my word for the guys. So let's just go unleash, and we did it. Um, so, but yeah, it's fun. And you know, you just in terms of me just kind of staying even-headed. Um, 
I, I saw a thing the other day and it was like, you know, if I have, you know, 50 people text me after this game, um, I only had four people text me last week. Right, so it's just the fact that like you got to keep your tight circle, your tight circle, and not let anything else happen because you know it's a great team we played tonight, but we got to move on and um, it was a great game, but you know that we can't let the outside noise really affect us, and the good or the bad, right? So the bad last week didn't let it affect us, and the good this week can't let it affect us.